Hey logical people, in this tutorial we are going to talk about how to install Solana on your Ubuntu laptop. So before we install anything, we need to actually understand and what are we installing and why are we installing, okay? So assuming this is the whole Solana world, okay, so assuming this is the whole blockchain, there is something called mainnet where the real magic happens where Solana is actually traded in terms of money, right? Then there are two other networks which are testnet and devnet and these three networks are provided by Solana to everyone so that they can actually test and deploy their smart contracts and projects and whatnot on Solana blockchain. As you might know that blockchains take some time and effort in order to validate uh, each block and mainnet basically as I mentioned takes some money so it, it costs you actual uh, Solana in order to put data on the blockchain. Test and DevNet, however, does not cost you any real Solana. However, they would need, however, you would need some test Solana in order to um, use these networks. To make the development life cycle easier, Solana has provided a local host network, which basically is Solana network running on your own machine. And this basically helps or let's say accelerate the development process a lot. Okay. So that's first thing first that Solana has different networks and we're going to install localhost as well. And we're going to see that, see all of this in action in a moment. Um, before we do that, it's important for you to understand the concept. Then comes the Rust. So Rust in itself is the programming language that you're going to use in order to, in order to interact with Solana, of course. However, Rust is a system programming language which means you need to explicitly define everything that you want to do in this programming language and to elevate that pain in order to reduce that boilerplate work another framework has been designed on top of rust which is called anchor so what anchor does is it basically provides you a lot of packages and pre-built functions that you can use to interact with solana network okay so we're going to install rust and we're going to install anchor as well and eventually we're going to use anchor to build a program written in rust of course and what anchor does is anchor provides an idp which basically is a byte code if you may and that idp can interact or let's say can talk to solana so eventually you're going to deploy the idp to one of these networks on solana and when you're testing when you're developing your project you want to deploy that build idp to the local host okay with that understanding, now let's get started with installing Rust. All right, so the first thing that we want to install is Rust. What we need to do is we need to go to rustlang.org and then we copy this command, open a normal terminal and paste the command and press enter. This will download the installer and it will give you options how to install the Rust. So once you have downloaded, once you have installed the Rust, I'm gonna come back. Okay, so I have installed the Rust. Now let's see. Uh, now let's have a quick test if we have installed everything correctly. So we will say Rust C. So Rust compiler dot version like this. Okay. So it's either capital V or minus minus version like this and then we can also check rust up version and we can also check cargo as you might know that cargo is the package manager for rust okay perfect now second thing is that we want to install solana so let's see how we can do that We are going to go to the official website of Solana like this and here they are simply tell us they are simply telling us that this is the command we need to use so we are going to copy this. Please make a note that you don't want to install the latest version maybe you want to install this table version so click on this link and then here you can go to releases. Here you can see that on the testnet they have a pre-release of um, 1.10.33. But if you scroll down, you're gonna find the latest version on the main net, and this is the version that you want to install. Okay. So we're gonna copy this, go back to our terminal, paste it. Again, if you want to change the version, you can do it here. 
but we're gonna install 32 so we are fine and press enter this will download solana for us and install it for us perfect in case in your installation it's asking you to add solana to the path so just just follow the instruction on your screen and you should be good to go in general when you type path like this you should be able to see solana in your path so something like this okay if you don't see this then you then you need to update the path perfect so now if i go and say solana minus minus version to get a solana version 32 now I, what i could do is i could actually go and say solana address like this and i get my wallet address like this if you see an error right here create a new wallet so you need to use the command solana keygen new and this will create a new wallet for you and you will have the address for yourself okay perfect so once you have done that you can do one other check that if the local ledger is working for you so you're gonna say solana test rally data like this and this should start a local test validator on your machine at port double eight double nine this is mimicking a solana network on your laptop itself so you don't have to wait for other validators to validate your block before it goes to the blockchain okay perfect i'm going to press ctrl c and get out of it now we need to install anchor so anchor is the package manager that is built on top of rust that basically takes care of all the heavy lifting that we do when we write the smart contract on solana blockchain so what we're going to do is we're going to install abm which is anchor version manager the command is like this okay and once you hit hit enter uh, this is going to download and install anchor manager for you so once it's done i'm going to come back once you have downloaded avm we need to run this command which is avm install latest like this and this will basically download the version 25 for you i have already installed it so it says that i already have a latest version but for you it will download and build all the packages and files that are needed for the latest anchor and once you have done everything what you need to do is you need to run this last command which says avm use latest so it will now set anchor to version 25 and how do we verify that very simple you should know this by now anchor minus minus version like this now we've got anchor cli okay the final test that we want to do is we want to create a new project using anchor and then if you're able to build that project that means that you have done everything correct and now you have proper anchor and solana set up on your machine and you're ready to go and start building your awesome apps on solana blockchain okay so what we'll do we'll create a new folder i'll say mkdir test solana then i'll say td test solana okay within this folder i'm gonna say anchor in it new project right to so initialize new project and i'll say sol one because why not at this point when you run this command if you get an error that yarn is not installed that means that you need to go and install npm and i'm going to put a link in the description how to install npm that's altogether a different approach so this is the url you should follow it's a beautiful written article by digital ocean and one thing i want to point out and it's important that you go down and you start installing node from this point install node version manager and vm and then install node and also install npm okay do not install do not follow the procedure on top just follow everything that is that follows nvm okay node version manager like this and i have node version once you have both of these what you need to do is you need to run one special command to activate yarn because yarn comes pre-built with node all you need to do is you need to go to your terminal and run following command and this will install yarn for you okay so just 
enable the core pack and just type yarn and if yarn is not installed it will install it for you since it's installed since it is installed for me so it says already satisfied so once you have installed installed yarn once you have activated anchor project now is the moment of truth so we're gonna say anchor build sorry so I need to go inside the folder like this and if i press ls you'll see that it has created a couple of files and folders for me um, just a quick walkthrough of files and folder. Now Solana has given us a couple of files, so let's have a look on them one by one. So number one is the programs folder. So this is a program folder for all our Solana programs. It already comes with a very simple program we can build upon, so we don't have to do all the scaffolding ourselves, okay? So here it is, a very simple program. That's number one. Then we also have a test folder, which is this. So this is a folder for all our JavaScript test directly interacting with our program. Again, it's already come with a test file for our auto-generated program. You can see here, it has written some JavaScript uh, commands, which basically interacts with our Solana program. Okay, perfect. Then we have anchor.tuml. This is basically a configuration file that helps us configure our program ID, Solana cluster, uh, test commands, etc. Okay, so as you can see, cluster is localhost, and this is where my wallet sits, and you should have a different one for yourself. This, this is the project ID and so on, okay? And we also have an empty folder that will later on contain our JavaScript clients, which basically means uh, in the app folder, we could put our React project, or it could be an XJS, it could be, you know, anything, a simple HTML page as well, okay? Perfect. Right now, let's see how we can build so that we are 100% sure that all the installation is correct since this video is about installing the Solana on your laptop. Anchor build like this and fingers crossed. If you are doing this for the first time, it's gonna take some time to build. And if it's already built, it's, it's really rather fast, okay? So I'm gonna come back once everything is done. Perfect. So everything is working the way it should. If you see something like this on your screen, a pat on the back because you have done a great job. Everything is now set up on your machine in order for you to get started with the Solana blockchain. If you want to learn how to develop smart contracts and different apps on Solana blockchain, here's a video that you should watch to get started.